Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to the enchanting world of Frostburg, where the Appalachian Mountains cradle the sleepy streets. Winter has woven its silken threads of snow, transforming the world into a glistening wonderland. The first snowflakes dance through the air, swirling like tiny fairies, as children bundled in colorful scarves and mittens rush outside, their laughter ringing like chimes in the crisp, cold air. But amidst the joy and excitement for the upcoming winter festival, an unsettling presence looms. A snowman, tall and imposing, has appeared overnight in the town square, its coal-black eyes glimmering with secrets. Buckle up, because this is just the beginning of our frosty adventure. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where curiosity leads to unexpected adventures. Liam, a boy of twelve with tousled brown hair and bright blue eyes, stands at the edge of the square, his breath visible in the frosty air. He wears a worn-out red scarf that flaps like a flag of adventure, and his puffy blue jacket seems to absorb the chill. Look at it! he exclaims, pointing at the snowman, his adventurous spirit igniting a spark of curiosity. Beside him is Maya, his best friend, her long dark hair tied in a messy bun, expressive green eyes wide with intrigue. She clutches her sketchbook, the pages filled with swirling lines and half-formed ideas. I want to capture its essence, she murmurs, her voice barely above a whisper, as she begins to sketch the snowman, her pencil dancing across the paper, capturing its eerie beauty. And then there's Sarah, the skeptical one of the trio, crossing her arms, her short curly hair bouncing with the movement. It's just a snowman, Liam. You're being ridiculous. But oh, here's where it gets really juicy. Old man Harris, with his weathered face and eyes that hold the weight of countless winters, watches from a distance, his expression a mix of concern and caution. You kids should be careful, he warns, his voice gravelly. That snowman, it's not just a pile of snow. It's a reminder of things best left buried. I know you're thinking what I'm thinking, or maybe I'm just that predictable. As the children gather around, the wind picks up, carrying with it whispers that seem to echo their fears. The townsfolk bustle around them, oblivious to the strange occurrences that begin to unfold. The air thickens with tension as Liam's adventurous spirit clashes with Sarah's skepticism, while Maya's artistic heart flutters with the weight of unspoken fears. The snowman stands silently, a sentinel of secrets, as the children exchange glances filled with uncertainty. Each of them feels the pull of the unknown, the whispers in the wind echoing their insecurities, urging them to confront what lies beneath the surface. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the snow-covered streets, the trio makes a pact. They will uncover the truth behind the snowman, embarking on a journey that will not only reveal the mysteries of Frostburg, but also lead them to confront their own buried fears. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. The chapter closes with the children standing resolute, the snowman looming behind them, a chilling reminder of the adventure that awaits. All right, story lovers, that's a wrap for chapter one. The snowman looms behind our brave trio, a chilling reminder of the adventure that awaits. With the mysteries of Frostburg and their own buried fears to confront, Liam, Maya, and Sarah are in for a journey of a lifetime. Stay tuned for more twists and turns as we dive deeper into this frosty tale. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on Storyteller for the next chapter. Until then, keep those imaginations running wild.